Good afternoon, everybody. I'd like to call, I'd like to call now, please, for the national anthem. You're very welcome to the County Camogie Grounds in the rag for the FBD Insurance Intermediate Club Championship Final between Knockavilla, Dunnesky, Kickhams and Shannon Rovers. Um, the weather is pretty mild here, pitch in great condition, nice crowd after gathering here. Um, so it's a really entertaining game in store between the 2020 Junior A Champions and the 2019 Junior A Champions. No, I said it record, just in case you press it again. Nakafila Donisky Kickham's team in goals number one Sheena Ryan, number two Ellie Hadnett, number three Megan McCormick, no, number four Loney F Farr, number five Sinead Furlong, number six Bet Ryan, number seven Holly Fitzgerald, eight Creven McCarthy, nine Eve Slattery, um, number 20 Emma O'Mara starts on the wing, Arena Friday, centre forward Ellen Brown, number 12 Emer Heffernan in the corner, Emer Gleason has moved to full forward and Sarah May across doesn't start and Creven McCormick is on the other wing. One change on the Shannon Rovers team, Kira Cleary number 17 replaces number 9 Rachel Hannigan. Referee today is Michael Heffernan getting ready to throw in the ball here as the team just going into their final positions. Shannon Rovers captained by also our goalkeeper Anya Slattery and Lockavilla captain centre back Bet Ryan. And the game is on. Throw in there, Cueve McCarthy straight away picks it up and goes on one of our trademark runs. Number eight, Lockville Kickham's hand pass today, looking for Arena Friday. Just overcooked the pass. Serena, Serena Larkin is there. First tussle. Out comes uh, Shannon Rovers with the clearance there. Good clearance. It's going to go over the sideline though. It is. And it's a line ball to Lockville on a ski Kickham's. A lively opening two seconds. Number 15, Queen McCormick getting ready to take this. County minor for Nakavilla. Doesn't get the best of the strikes. Now comes centre back Ira Fogarty and passes it out to Kira Cleary. Strikes it up the field. Paul Hannigan trying to get there, flicks it on. Bet Ryan is there. Bet Ryan tries to get the ball up, can't does it. Shoves it out. Anya Cleary is there for Shannon Rovers. And it's another line ball. Again for Nakavilla Donisky. So Captain Bet Ryan coming out centre back to take this. Referee is calling back. Neve Slattery. Good tussle here on the sideline. Oh, it's a line ball again. Shannon Rovers ball there just came off the helmet of Holly Fitzgerald. So Shannon Rovers getting ready to take this. Lauren Lennon out from full forward to take this. Doesn't get a cut on it at all. Oh, heavy tussle there. Referee will play on. No, now he's calling the back for a free. Holly Fitzgerald. Clyde is straight into the Shannon Rovers player. Number 17, Kira Cleary. She looks to be okay. Aoife Malachny, the free taker is coming out to take this. Tricky enough for first free for Aoife. Just outside the 45, five yards in from the sideline. 
Her father, Pat, is on the management team. Joint manager with Paul Darcy. Lovely strike by Aoife. It's on target. Has she got the distance? Yep. Super score from Aoife Malachny. Getting the opening score of the game. Shannon Rovers, one point. No score to Nakavilla on the ski kickums. Cook out now for Sheena Ryan. Both teams fighting for it there in the middle of the field. Nakavilla having it now. Trying to get free. Flicks out to Cueva McCarthy. But Shannon Rovers are there again. Hunting in packs. Celine Guinan missed the semi final due to injury back today. Trying to get free. Running into trouble there. Flicks it forward there. Paul Hannigan trying to get it up. Now it's on you, Cleary. Scrappy enough play there. Nakavilla trying to get control of it. Cueva McCormick all the way back there for Nakavilla. Now it's Cueva McCarthy wins the ball in the middle of the field, trying to break free. It's a free. Nakavilla looked to be playing with a sweeper. Quick free taken there by Bet Ryan. Trying to find Emer Heffernan. Let's go on over the sideline. And it's going to be a line ball now to Shannon Rovers. <laughs> Lions man trying to get the Nakavilla manager Paddy Fitzgerald just to step back away from the line. Cut is taken. Bet Ryan has it again in her hand. Storming out down the wing of Bet Ryan strikes it. Nice ball into the corner. Who's there? Sabrina Larkin coming out from full back. Reads it well. First time into the hand for Sabrina. Trying to get free. Strikes it back up the line where it came from. Lee Slattery is there now. Both teams hunting in packs. Lee Slattery trying to get up. That's a Shannon over players around her though. Ellen Brown is there for Lockerville too. Well done, well done, well it's Neve Franks. Shannon Overs player has it. No, she lost it again. It's still there. Neve Slattery is there again. Strikes the ball across the field. Cross onto Emma O'Mara got her hand to it there, but couldn't hold on to it. And it's still there. Now it's picked up. Lovely. Lovely score there. For Naka Village in the ski, the number 12, Ellen Brown, picked it up there, lovely, and one strike over the bar. So first score from play, after five minutes, both sides level, a point each. On the slattery now with the puck out. Big puck out, but Bet Ryan, lovely catch. Well read by Bet Ryan, jumps up, catches a beautiful, strikes it straight back in. Only as far as Shannon Rovers corner back, Stephanie Sullivan. Sabrina Larkin is there too, strikes it down. Queen McCarthy attacks the ball, Shannon Rovers player looks to be injured. Queen McCarthy still there, great strike in by Queeva. This could go all the way. Anya Slattery has a lovely catch by Anya. And the referee is blowing it for a free. And also Shannon Rovers player down injured in the middle of the, in the, middle of the field. After a collision there with Queen McCarthy, who started very well there midfield for Nakavilla, done a ski kickums. Well Looks to be an ankle injury. Shannon Rovers won't like to see this. And a sub getting ready to warm up there, number nine, Rachel Hannigan, who was out through injury from the semi final. Will be the first sub on today if needed. Paul Darcy going in there to check on his player. She looks to be in a bit of butter. Lisa Kelly first aid is better. Looks like she rolled over in her ankle, so just giving her a chance to see if she's able to get up, put weight on it. So very evenly contested game so far, as predicted. Nakvilla had a 
big win over Shannon Rovers in the group stages, but little will be read into the group stage results. Both sides came through a very tough semi final. Kilowan McDonald's took Nakavilla to extra time, 11 points all at full time, ended up Nakavilla done a ski kick and swinging in 16 points to 12. Shannon Rovers met Bursley in the semi final, were leading three points for Tara Mokler, goal level at just at full time, and then Ephraim Lockney point from a free money for them to get them to the county final here today. So, judging on the opening, seven or eight minutes is going to be a tight semi final. Clock stopped here now for injury. Looks to be Gillian McKenna that is under pressure. Important player for Shannon Rovers. They certainly don't want to lose her, but it looks like our time could be ended here in the county final. Big player for Shannon Rovers. Midfielder number eight, Gillian McKenna, looks to be making way. And uh, a good, a, a good strong substitution coming in for her though. Number uh, number nine, Rachel Hannigan. Just hand the slip here to the linesman. Rich looks to be going into the forwards there. So there should be a good bit of injury time after this stoppage at the end of the half. Come on, Peter. Come on, guys. Let's go. Yeah, come on. We'll have a sub, Gunny. So, a round of applause for Gillian McKenna who's making way here. She's hobbling badly there. Laura and Lang going back into position. Anya Slattery getting ready to take this free. Big strike by Anya. Trying to find her number 12, Celine Guinan. Former Tipperary underage star. Lovely strike by Celine. But Ryan is there again. Shannon Rovers trying to get in, lovely ball into Laura Lan, turns her player, trying to get past her defender. Creve McCormick all the way back there, nice strike by Laura, going to drop short there. Oh, it's there! A goal for Shannon Rovers! Striked in by number 14, Laura Lan. Just as the keeper was coming out to Ethan Lockney, snuck in between her player and the keeper and flicked it into the back of the net. A big boost for Shannon Rovers, a goal and point to a point. Outside 45. Sabrina yeah. Larkin making a run from full back and Celine Guinan, but I'd imagine if it goes for her own score, well, have been in her range. Didn't get the, a good strike on it, went left and wide. 
Emma Darcy tried to keep it in but failed to do so. Puck out now by Sheena Ryan again. Free there for free for Shannon Rovers. Leave Malachi another chance here. Let Ryan disagreeing with the referee there, Michael Heffernan, but it's a free all the same. And Aoife gets ready to strike this. Roll lift style. Just want to drop short. Lob bodies there. Sheena Ryan has it. Going out the wing, strikes a clear, looks finds her captain Bet Ryan. Good clearance by Bet, only as far as Eamon Foley. Oh, Eamon misses it. Bounces off Rina Friday. All star nominee, haven't seen much for her yet. She'd like to get into the game. Another line ball. And a broken hurley for Eamon Fogarty. Irina Friday getting ready to take this. No, leaves it for Bet Ryan, her captain. Come on, Rachel, no. Bet Ryan getting ready to take the line ball here. Great strike by Bet all the way down the line. Huge crowd after gathering here for this intermediate county final. Lovely picked up there by Emer Heffernan. Strikes it across. Who's there for Napa Villa? It's Ellen Brown again. The point score in around. She'll take a shot again. This is going to drop short. Oh, who's there? Shannon Rovers. Francis Bolger clears the ball. Only as far as Bet Ryan. She misses it though. And now number seven, Holly Fitzgerald for Napa Villa. In the tussle there with, with Paula Hannigan. And Bet has gathered up again. Selena Guyan is everywhere. Comes to that ball. Lovely gather. Strikes it. No, went over the line. Lions man calls it back for a line ball. It's a knock line ball. Eamon Heffernan looking for this. Eamon looking for this. Getting ready to take this, Eamon Heffernan. Number 13 for knock villa Donsky Kickums. Straight to a Shannon Rovers player though, Kira Cleary. Hand pass it over to Laura Lan. Laura strikes it in. The break's there again. Shannon Rovers player picks it up. Number 10. Anya Cleary doesn't get the best strike. Sheena Ryan flicks it out. Back to Anya Cleary again. Strikes it over to Ethan Rockley. Ethan Rockley won't miss from here. Lovely score by Ethan. Got bundled to the ground after her strike by Megan McCormick. The referee having a quiet word with her. It's another point for Shannon Rovers. 1 2 to a point. Makafilla attack failed to get going yet. It's Queeve McCarthy. Wins a free. Free goes in. Ellen Brown is in there. Well, it's well read then by Serena Larkin. Pulls on the ball. Eva Fogley is there too with, with Arena Friday. Arena has it again. Whistle blows though. I'm not sure what happened there. Maybe the referee wasn't ready when I think the free was taken too quickly. It's called back again to retake the free. Sinead Furlong getting ready to take it again. <laughs> Sinead Furlong spots a run by Bet Ryan. Lovely strike to Bet. Bet opening up in front for her and passes it into Queen McCarthy. She doesn't look, but she strikes. And a lovely point by Queen McCarthy. Brilliantly works play there by Nakavilla. Quick free to Bet Ryan. Hand pass to Queen McCarthy and over the bar. A goal in two to two. The Ethan Lockney goal separated the sides. With 16 minutes, 17 minutes now on the clock. Celine Guinan tries to gather it there again. Bet Ryan has it, strikes it out to the side. Only goes as far as Rachel Hannigan to substitute. Tuss 
Hustling for the ball there, and out we comes with it is Holly Fitzgerald. Down the line, but only as far as number two, Stephanie O'Sullivan. Strikes it back to where it came from. Lovely catch by Rachel Hannigan. Strikes it in. Knock a bit of free players there. Queen McCormick back there playing as a sweeper. But Shannon Rovers have again. Lovely pass to Eve Monopoly. She strikes just to the left and wide. Still a goal and two to two points. Sheena Ryan with the puck out. Trying to find Emma O'Mara. Emma gathers it. Lovely. Hand passes it out to Sinead Furlong. Strikes it down. Well gathered by Knockville. A good play here. Hand pass to Queen McCarthy. She goes off on her solo run. In, steps inside Sabrina Larkin. Pass another player. Lovely flick out to Ema Heffernan. There's a chance for Knockville. Ema Heffernan still going through. Hand pass there. Goal chance here. Only Slattery is out. It's a goal! Super goal! Brilliantly taken by Emer Gleeson. Well worked goal by Nakavilla. Drew the marker. Gave the pass. Oh, I'm sorry he came out, but Emer Gleeson managed to get the strike off. And it's now level. A goal and two points to a goal and two points. Puck out again. End to end stuff here. Nakavilla have it. Ellie hadn't it. Clears her line again. Eber Fogley flicks it on. Doing very well on Marina Friday. Schnitt, or Eber Heffern has it here. Hand pass it through. Arena's going on a run. Arena's free. Takes a shot. Oh, just in time. Gets a shot off. Another goal. Two goals in quick succession for Nakavilla. Turns this game on its head. Nakavilla now leading two goals and two points. To a goal and two points. And the water break is called. Just on 19 minutes. Shannon Rovers will be very disappointed after all the hurling to be down by a goal. You can see two goals in a row. It's the first two real attacks by uh, Nakavilla. And they managed to open up the Shannon Rovers defence. Arena Freyo hooked originally but managed to get the shot off. Pass on the slattery into the back of the net. And it's Shannon Rovers that are Nakavilla that lead here at the war break. Two goals and two points to a goal and two points. Two quick huddles for both teams. Chance for Paul Darcy to get a few words in to his troops. Same at the other end. Quick sip of water, ready to go again. The stand here is full in the County Camogie grounds in the rag. Pitch in great condition for the time of the year. Very hard to call a winner here. Naka Villa looked to got more into the game in the last few minutes and took their two goals brilliantly. Brilliant signs there for Shannon Rovers. Teams back out now again for the final second quarter of the first half. Oh, and it's slightly getting ready to resume play here. Strike great puck out by Anna Slarry. Queen McCormick is there, strikes it back down. Only as far as Celine Guinan. Tackled there by Neve Slarry. Celine still has possession though. Needs to get her strike off. Does brilliantly. Back only as far as Queen McCormick there again though. She clears the ball. Trying to find her, a teammate. But Neve Franks comes out there from wing back, gets a flick, but Nakaville are there in numbers. Hand passes the ball out to Queen McCarthy. Flicks it forward for Rena Friday. Here comes Arena, takes a strike from distance. Lovely strike. No, that's going to tail wide. On the slattery, happy to see that out wide. Just slightly off balance striking that, Arena. 
Puck out again by Ian Slattery. Looking for a movement there in the Shannon Rovers attack. Aoife Malachny playing inside on her own there at the edge of the square. Ball has gone in. Cueve McCormick is there again. Strikes it down. Lovely ball. Here comes Nakaville again. Seems to be enjoying more possession now. Ema Fogler tries to stop that but misses it. And it's Arena Friday as again. Dodges Serena Larkin. Gets a strike. Lovely point. Support score from Arena Friday. Begin to exert her presence here on this game. Nakaville now leading two goals and three points to a goal and two points. Will they be hurling senior Komogi next year? After coming up from junior this year. Celine Guinan winning the ball again. Gets her strike off under pressure from Cueve McCarthy. But it's number four from Nakavilla. Leone Farrell who wins it. Comes out. Neva Fogarty's there. Well read by Emma Fogarty. Can't get the clearance off and it's a Kickham's line ball. Emer Heffernan getting ready to take this. Bet Ryan has made a run from centre back, leaving Ellie Hadner free in defence. She strikes it down. Who's there? Shannon Rovers are there in numbers, but they still have to get it cleared. Here comes number 20, Emma O'Mara. Flicks it, picks it up. Pass it into Emer Heffernan. She doesn't quite get it. Into her hands. Serena Larkin there and putting her under pressure. Out to Emma O'Mara again. Nakavilla have it again. They're there in numbers. Building up an attack here. Emer Heffernan strikes it in. Lovely ball to Neve Slarty. Doesn't control it first time. I imagine if she did, she would have had a score. Neve Slarty again. Hand pass it to Emer Heffernan. Lovely strike by Emer. Is it going to go all the way? Looks good. Another score. And Shannon Rovers looking a bit under pressure now. As Nakavilla stretched their lead, two goals and four points, that's ten points to a goal and two, five points. Five point lead for Shannon Rovers. 22 minutes on the clock here. On this Larry with another monster puck out. All the way to the opposition, 45. But it's Nakavilla over there again. Strike it down. Celine Guyan is there though. She picks it up. Playing well so far. Looking for, doesn't get a free but gets her strike off Lauren and Ann chases. Shannon Rovers needs something from Lauren now. Going to take on a player on the end, end line. Tries to get back. Pass Ellie Hadnett. Strikes a lovely ball. Look. Oh. Under pressure there for Nakavilla, but they have numbers back. And out they come with it. Ellie Hadnett again. Oh. Referee says she threw the ball. And there's a player down injured as well, I think. Knock a villa girl injured there, not quite sure who it is. Those calls there from the side down for a troll, but it could be a free for it could be just an indirect free due because of the injury too. We'll have to wait and see. What the referee decides. Sheena Ryan is switching her leads. It looks to be coming out to take the free. Player still down injured for Nakavilla. She looks to be okay getting back up to her feet now. I think it's their number four, Leone Farrell, is it? Good free from Sheena, trying to find Cleve McCarthy. Celine Guinan is there again. A hurley ball for Nakavilla. It's number 13 for Shannon Rovers. Gets it and strikes it in. Emma Darcy. Sheena Ray comes out under pressure from Aoife Lockney. Blocked down by Aoife Lockney. Aoife gathers it again. And it's a white ball. Umpire Paul calls it for a white ball. Just as Aoife strikes it. Sheena looked to have gotten the strike up, but it was deemed a white ball. A clash ball is a white ball.
Queen McCormick. A big one from Queen McCormick. Someone went all the way out from the fence. Strikes it down. Tries to pick out a player. Was intercepted there, but it's still gone to Nakavilla. She has it again. Emma O'Mara. Under pressure, Norselina Guinan running across, trying to intercept it. Marina Friday gets there first. A super strike from Marina Friday. But it's going to tail out to the right and wide. Serena Larkin wins the puck out. Under pressure now again from the Naka Villa from Marina Friday again. Oh, and Cleary trying to gather it. Or Kira Cleary, apologies. Sling line in there too. So is Holly Fitzgerald. And Ema Heffern for Naka Villa. Naka Villa have it again. Arena Friday draws the foul. Ema Fogarty fouls her. And it's a Naka Villa free. Which Ema Heffern is getting ready to take. 26 minutes now on the clock. Nakavilla leading two goals and four points. So going two points. Ian we're having a chance to stretch the lead. Get a bit more, Jim. Get a really bit more. Ian we're Well within a range, a super free taker. To be a senior player. Picks it, strikes a lovely. Is it there? No, it's going to drop short. Lovely gather by Olga Slarry. Huge catch by Anya and huge clearance. Bet Ryan Dog gets a hurly to it again. Playing well there in defence, Bet. Schnee Furlan clears down the line. Out comes Francis Bulger. The ball is up the field again. Ethan Lockley trying to win it. Comes out from full forward. Fighting there for the ball. But it's Ellie Hadnett that clears it. As far as Schnee Furlan strikes it down the field. Spring the lock and powering up from defence. Can't bring the ball where it all it's Lock Villa have it again. Raina Freya, she's everywhere. Cleve Slarry now picks it up. Off on a solo run. Looking for someone running off her shoulder. Fails to take off wait, off the pass and it's Shannon Rovers. Win the free. A chop chop from Neva Slattery. The free for Shannon Rovers. Anya Slattery is coming out to take this. Stephanie O'Sullivan leaves it there for her captain and goalkeeper Anya Slarry. Looking to get distance on this. Ethan Malachny away to the side, but I'm sure she'll make a run into the middle once this is struck. Seems to be a problem here. We're free. Not happy with Anya's free and is calling for a throw in now. Not quite sure what happened there, but it's a throw in here from Emer Heffernan. I think it's because Anya struck the free with a goalie hurley, which is not allowed. Now Arena Friday getting off the strike. But should have been a potential score for oh, Shadow Over, and instead it's a point for Arena Friday. Well taken score by Arena Friday. Nakaville out in front. Two goals of five points, her goal in two points. Shannon Rovers enjoying plenty of possession but just can't get the scores they need. Emma Darcy here. Not going to fill it defence. Very hard to break down. If Malachny has it again. Well she deemed to have gone over the sideline and it's a not going to line ball. Well played, well played here by Knockville and Eve Slattery out. Solo and true. Hand pass it to Cueva McCarthy, her midfield partner. Gathers a lovely, gets the strike off. Great strike by Cueva. And there's another point for Knockville. Starting to open up a gap here. Two goals and six points for Knockville. Goal and two points. Shannon Rovers yet to score in this quarter. Only a couple of minutes to go to half time. Shannon Rovers trying to get start an attack here, but it's Ellie Hadnett who put in. And put Emma Darcy under pressure. She gets the pass off to Laura Lanan. Here comes Laura now down the wing. Strikes it in. But nobody there, only the Nakavilla free player. 
Out she comes. Still has to clear it though. Even lucky getting this lock in. Quiv McCormick has it and strikes it on his fire. Celine Guinan. Oh, she can't get up though. And it's Lacaville who got her it again. Shannon over is putting on their pressure again. Shannon over overturning the ball again. Strikes it in. Paula Hannigan there, but Bet Ryan gathers possession and clears it. Shannon over still on the attack again. This time it's on Kira Cleary. Lee Franks is there as well. Kira Cleary again. Strikes it down. Who's there? Lovely catch by Emma Darcy. Gets past. Akavilla player tries to get it into East Malachny. They're star four. Aoife gathers a lovely play by East Malachny. Well worked score there. One touch, turn over the bar for Aoife Malachny. She's their dangerous woman in there. In there. Got all scores for Shannon over so far. Going in three points. Puck out now again by Sheena Ryan. No breeze here at all in the county. Kamui grounds and drag. Queen McCarthy there. It's, it's busy there in the middle of the field, but Queen gets it and clears it. Slane Guinan took a knock there, gone down. Here comes Neve Slattery. Loves the solo run from midfield. She's going straight through the heart of the. Shannon Overs to Vince strikes it in. Anya Slattery gathers it. Fumbles it, but has it again on the second attempt. But called back for advantage there. A free spot of infringement inside and it's calling back for uh, Nakavilla down Skeef. Here comes free. Emer Heffernan will look to take this at the other end though. Ellie Hadnett looks to be in a bit of trouble for Nakavilla. And Fidio is in there to give her treatment. Nakavilla definitely enjoying the Nakavilla are definitely enjoying the fair share of play in the second quarter. Shan Rovers only a single point. Why Nakavilla have stretched their lead now to two goals and six to a goal and three. Emer Heffernan straight points to goals. Will look to extend her tally. While Ellie Hadna continues to receive treatment there at the other end of the field. and getting ready to take this free. Straight in front of the goals, but 45 metres out. She strikes, makes no mistake, over the bar. Two goals and seven out, Shannon Rovers, one three. On the start, you're getting ready to puck it out. Strikes down her right wing. Kira Cleary is there, flicks it on. Lovely pick up, strikes in. Who's there? Ethan Malachny running in around the back. Sheena Ryan's coming out. Ethan Malachny's there as well. Sheena just gets enough to it. And out comes the kick comes defender. Number four, Leonie Farrell. There's a bit of work to do still under pressure from Shannon Rovers. Neve Slattery's there again. Having a great game there in midfield. It's number 10 now. Only Cleary for Shannon Rovers. So long through. Pass doesn't come back and it's Neve Slattery there again. Strikes off again there by Nakavilla. Rachel Hannigan there again. Flicks it outside. Here comes Emma Darcy. Oh, half blocked down there with the strike. Sheena Ryan comes out to meet it for the Nakavilla goal. Strikes it, clears it down the line again. Looking for Emer Gleason to come again. Emer's won the race. Stri picks it up. Outnumbered out there in the wing, though, gets the pass off to Ellen Brown. 
Ellen has it here now. Good strike in by Ellen. Sling going in is there though. She should have it. Picks it up and clears it again. Cleve McCarthy there again. Flicks it up to Arena Friday. Arena trying to get past Emma Falky. Sling going in has it though. Emma Falky has it again. Strikes down again. Sun starting to come out here now into the eyes of Emma Darcy. And it's the only foul that clears it. Just gone over the line again. Hard to see the line there. But linesman in perfect position says it's a Shannon Rovers line ball. Slane Guinan looking for a nice patch of grass there to get her strike off. Shannon Rovers need a score before half time. Struck there by Slane Guinan. Line ball again. Shannon Rovers again. Marina Friday not happy with the decision. Seeing Island get ready to take it again. Straight by Sling Guinan. Neve Slarry is there again. Trying to get picked off the ground by Shannon Rover, so it's a Nakavilla free. Bet Ryan coming out to take it. Bet Ryan looking to strike this. Good struck. Well struck free. M. O'Mara is there. Well gathered by M. O'Mara. Often her solo on there. Lovely flicked though by Shannon Rovers and they've turned it over again. It's on the attack again. Quiva McCormick is there for Nakavilla. Clears the ball again. Down the wing. Shannon Rovers have it again. Time to launch another attack. Well played there by Nakavilla. Lovely hand pass back out to Rena Friday. She tries to get around her player. Strike there on Arena, so it's a free for Nakavilla. Ian Heffern getting ready to take the free. To extend Nakavilla's lead. She's looking to talk for a second. She was going to go with a short pass to Marina Friday, but Chan Rovers are alert to it. Steading herself up again to take a shot at the goals. Doesn't quite connect it. Drop short. Oh, yeah, fumbles it, but she has it. Oh, it's Larry. Out she comes with it. And there's the half-time whistle here in the County Camogie Grounds in the rag. And the FBD Insurance Intermediate Club Championship Final. Nakavilla Dunsky Kickham's leading two goals and seven points to a goal and three points. Two quick goals in succession just before the war break has um, put Nakavilla in front. And it's been all Nakavilla really on the scoreboard in that second quarter. Stretching their lead to two goals and seven. has 13 points to a goal and three points. Six points for Shannon Rovers. Um, second half to come after the break. And we're getting ready here to resume uh, the second half of the FBD Insurance Intermediate County Final. Nakavilla leading Shannon Rovers, two goals and seven points to a goal and three points. Michael Heffern, the referee, getting ready to blow in the, or throw in the ball for the start of the second half. And we're underway. Shannon Rovers will be hoping to get a good start here to try and claw back this lead. But it's Arena Friday's on the ball again. Strikes it in. Only as far as Sabrina Larkin. Well, well read by Beanie. Cleans, clears the ball trying to pick out her, her own player but instead it's Irina Friday who gathers it again this time strikes it in further this time trying to find Emer Heffern in there in the corner lovely first touch by Emer Heffern turns and strikes but that's going to trail to the white, right and wide Emer Heffern under pressure from Shen Rover Stephanie O'Sullivan and her strike trails out wide puck out now by Anya Slarry seeing the guy and comes to attack it Cueva McCarthy has it again Solo and down through the centre. Flicks it lovely ball inside. Cueva still there. Picks it again. Going all the way. Lovely strike by Cueva McCarthy. Straight over the ball. Over the bar. Beautiful strike by Cueva. 
First score of the second half is Tanakavilla done a ski kick comes two goals and eight points, two goals and three points. Puck out again by Ainda Slattery. Shannon Rovers really need to find something up front, but it's Nakavilla again, growing in confidence. Rachel Hannigan is there too. Shouts of encouragement here from the Shannon Rovers management. Lauren Lang gets free under fierce pressure though from two Nakavilla players. Arena Friday picks it up again. Hand passes it over to Emma Mamara. She doesn't quite gather. Eva Fogarty's back again. Great defending by Eva Fogarty. Arena Friday hits the deck, and it's a free there for. Nakavilla does his key kick him. From shouts of encouragement from Marina. Nima Heffernan coming over to take the free. Double figures now for in terms of a lead for Nakavilla, 14 points to seven or to six, two eight. 14 to 1 3 is 6. More than double scores. Nima Heffernan with the free. Just outside the 45 metre line. Picks it, strikes. That's going to go wide though. She's disappointed with that. Got out wide. That'll give Rovers a lift. Moving now. Anya Slarry pucks the ball out. Out as far as Lauren Nan. She strikes it. Under pressure off from Bet Ryan, but wins her line ball. Need to see more urgency in the Shannon Rovers attack now. They need something special really, maybe a goal to get going again. Line ball here now. Lovely struck ball here by Celine Guinan. Down into the corner, but out comes the Nakavilla defence again. They're growing in confidence. Clearance though only goes as far as Shannon Rovers player. Nakavilla, Bet Ryan's fighting for the ball. Action over on the far side of the, of the field. Gathered now by the Shannon Rovers player again. Hand pass it out. Letter pass to Emer Fogarty. The space is open in front of Emer Fogarty. She's travelling, she strikes. Drooping ball, Sheena Ryan comes out. Controls it, still there. Hasn't cleared it yet. Now gets the clearance as far as her captain, Bet Ryan. Bet Ryan adds, adds to that. Big clearance by Bet, as far as Ellen Brown, trying to gather it here, Ellen. Has it now, two Shannon Rovers players in her wake. She stays gone, strikes it in, lovely strike in. Who's there, Eva Heffernan is free, lovely strike. Oh, Anya Slattery's had it to the back of the net. It's a goal, a goal much needed by Shannon Rovers, but instead it's not Cavilla Donsky, Kickens who get the goal. Eva Heffernan with a goal, three goals and eight points now to one goal a three. In the 33rd minute, three minutes into the second half, Emer Heffernan with a goal. And, and Shannon Rovers are battling bravely. Laura Lanelle picks the ball, strikes it in. Doesn't seem to have the strength up front though to trouble the Lacavilla defence. Out they come again. Laura Lanelle again, a long way out from goal to try and win the ball, but hits said it's Quiva McCarthy. Showing her strength now. Long soaring run, big stride, strikes it in. Who's there? Comes off Emma Heffernan's hurley. And instead it's picked up by their teammate, strikes it in again to Emma Merrill. Her strike though is going to drop short into Anya Slattery's hands. Anya out with the ball again, starting a knock, or Rover's attack. Her clearance though only goes as far as Neve Slattery. Neve gathers. Off on the solo run, Neve evades the tackle, strikes, lovely shot, but it's just going to go right and wide. Nakavilla is still leading here now. Three goals and eight points and a goal to a goal and three points. A lot of people predicting a much closer final. And that's how it looked like at the start. But since those two goals before the war break, Shannon, or Nakavilla have really grown into this game. And have extended their lead at every chance. Sinead Furlong now with the line ball in front of us here. On the stand side. Looking for a Nakavilla player. She strikes it. But it's Celine that has it. Celine clears the line again. Only far as Bet Ryan. Shannon Rovers haven't come out very far to win, win the ball. It means that they're outnumbered then when it goes down to the other end. Referee whiz, play on. Emma Darcy has the ball, puts it in. Oh, here we come now. Shannon Rovers attack, trying to get past. The ball is there. Chance for Lauren now. Sheena Ryan comes out though. But it's called back from referee. Half chance there of a goal for 
for Shannon Rovers. Sheena Ryan was alert to it though, but it's called back for advantage. And Aoife Lockney getting ready to take this free. Shannon Rovers need a score. Will she tap it over the bar? But they could badly do with a goal too. Will she take a chance to go for a goal? She picks it. No, over the bar. Point now for Shannon Rovers. That makes it a goal and four points to Shannon Rovers. Three goals and eight points for Nakavilla. Sheena Ryan with the puck out. Shannon Rovers need to build on that score. Need to get more ball into the likes of from Lockney. Always dangerous inside. Puck out. Finds M. O'Mara. Shannon Rovers fighting for the ball here. M. O'Mara is there. So is Kira Cleary. Who's going to win it? Imagine the ref's going to throw it in. No. Shannon Rovers or Knockville have it again. Lovely pass out by Neve Slarry. She's having an excellent game. Ball inside to Ema Heffernan. She turns her player now. Gets past Stephanie O'Sullivan. Has a strike. And a goal for Ema Heffernan. When she got past Stephanie O'Sullivan. It was goal written all over it. One on one with the keeper. Strikes a low shot. Give Anya Slarry no chance. And that's a fourth goal for Nakavilla. I haven't seen it go up in the scoreboard yet. I'm just looking. There's a Shannon Rovers player down injured. They're not happy, but... <coughs> Shannon Rovers player receiving attention here. Umpires seem to be just checking with the ref. Is it, are they to wave the green flag? Well, how are you? So Michael Heffernan not happy there, he's calling over. Yeah. He's calling over uh, Kira Cleary and since now the goal has gone up on the scoreboard. Yellow card for Shannon Rovers player. On the Slattery getting ready to take the puck out. Player receiving treatment there over on the sideline. This game now, Shannon Rovers look to be in real trouble. I see Sabrina Larkin in front, in front of me here. How how badly would she love to play in Senior Camogie next year to get another county title to her name? But it doesn't look to be there today with a fourth goal there, scored by Emer Heffernan. Scoreboard seems to be wrong here now at the moment. A puck out now by on the Slattery. Rachel Hannigan putting pressure there on the Nakavilla player. Rachel trying to win it again. Early first half substitute. Rachel was. Shannon Rover certainly feeling the last of Gillian McKenna to go off injured there in the first half. Now Kafila making a substitution here. The only foul is making weight. Villa getting ready to take the line ball. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Go on, Rich. Go on, Rich. Go on, Lord. Drive on. 
Laura Nan pulls on that. There was too many Nakavilla bodies there. They should be able to clear this, and they do. Big clearance there, finds all the way to Ellen Brown. Ellen Brown picks it up on a solo on it again. Ema Heffern is causing trouble inside if she can get the ball into her again. This one's going to drop short into Anya Slarry. In comes Ema, putting pressure on Anya Slarry. Anya, out she comes with it though. Has lost it again though. Here's Rena Friday with the strike and it's over the bar. Super strike by Rena Friday. Another point to Lock Villa. That's four goals and nine points now to a goal and four points. Puck out again. Out comes Laura and Ann to win it. Well gathered. Christ get past Bet Ryan. Wins a free there, pushing the back for Laura. Sabrina Larkin over to take this. Good strike by Sabrina Lark into the danger zone here. Who can, who can gather it? Gone down with a foul there again on the Shannon Overs player. So Ethan Lachlan is ready to take this. They need to score badly, Shannon Overs. Only a goal and four points scored. And 12 minutes gone in the second half. Akavilla players back on the, on the goal line. Prevent any goal chance. A lot of Nakavilla players there on the goal line. Looks like Eva could go for it though. They badly need to go at this stage. Or she might choose to tap it over the bar. Goes for it, strikes it hard. Oh, blocked on the line. Out comes Queen McCarthy Wins. Still hasn't cleared it yet though. Now she has cleared it. That was a chance for Shannon Rovers. Here they come again. They need to build on this momentum now and get a score. Keep going, keep going. Aoife has it again. Strikes it in. Lovely. Finds Beanie Larkin who's pushed up the field. Movement to Erin with the Shannon Rovers player. Sabrina has it again. She's storming forward. Flicks it out. Here's a goal chance. Strike. Saved by Sheena Ryan on the goals. She hasn't cleared it yet. She's in trouble. Still there. And the goal is gone in. The green flag is raised. The goal is Shannon Rovers badly needed. I'm not sure who finished it to the back of the net in the end. I think it could have been Paula Hannigan. No bodies in there. Akavilla now. How will they respond to that? 4 9 2 4 here in the county Kamoi grounds in the rag. Back goes Emer Fogarty. Picks it up. Hand pass it out to her corner back. She strikes it down the line. Sling going in is there. So is Neve Slattery. Here's Laura now. The crowd are getting behind Shannon Rovers again. McQueen McCarthy is still there. Having a great game with Neve Slattery in the middle of the field. Here she goes now. Nobody's coming to her. She's licked it over Emer Fogarty. Kira Cleary coming across. McQueen McCarthy still going. And a lovely score from Queen McCarthy. Great response by the Kickhams. And they extend their lead again. Four goals and ten points to two goals and four. Kick comes player, Neve Franks down injured, just receiving a bit of attention. And Rovers player just see you in attention. Oh, and you start you getting ready to take the puck out. Okay, 
ready now to pocket out again. Oh, and Larry goes long. Serena Larkin, who's moved up into the forwards, tries to win it, but instead it's Ellen Brown. No, Nakavilla have it again. Out they come with it again. Here comes Neve Slarry. Strikes it into the Nakavilla attack. Stephanie O'Sullivan there. Comes out with it. Well played by Stephanie O'Sullivan. She needs support. Hand passes it out there to. Strikes it down again. Sling Greinen is there. Well played by Sling Greinen. Only as far as Neve Slarry again, though. Here comes Rachel Hannigan. Shan Rovers trying to put the name on it. Eve Malachi out very far from her goals, wins the ball, tries to get past three or four Lacavilla players, wins herself for free. Referee brings the ball forward. Eve Malachi getting ready to take it now. This is within Nifa's range, or will she drop it in and look for a goal? She's going to take her point. Is it going to drop short? Oh, it does. In the danger zone there. Chopped down on the Nakavilla corner back, Leone Farland. It's a, a free out. Quick strike out of the hand at the new rules. Trying to find the. Ellen Brown, but it's Shannon Rovers have it again. Here comes Eve Malachny. Looking lively every time she has the ball. She's smothered up by three Nakavilla players. Managed to get the hand pass out. It's Emma Darcy trying to lay it back to, off to Eve again, but Nakavilla are back in numbers. Leif Slattery comes out with it. Sling Guinan has it again. Well played by Sling Guinan. Tries to find Sabrina Larkin. And here, Enrina Friday in the end picks it up and clears it, but. Neve Slattery is in a bit of bother and the referee bows it up to, to allow treatment to come on. Spring the Larkin also down for Shannon Rovers. Surely, first half war or second half war break must be coming up. Eve Slattery getting attention there. She's having a great game herself and Queen McCarthy in the middle of the field for for um, Nakavilla. Spring the Larkin said something to the referee he's not too happy with. Calling her back here. Just frustration now on Sabrina's part. And Michael Heffernan reaching for the yellow card, book Sabrina Larkin there. And it's a throw in ball here. Eve Malachny and Cleve McCarthy going in for the throw in. Akavilla with the clearance. Going to go out over the sideline here. Can Alessia can keep it in. No, it's a line ball. Kick his ball, Arena Friday getting ready to take it. Arena Friday. War break here in the second half. Malcolm Villa does key kick comes leading. Four goals and ten points to Shannon Rovers, two goals and four points. Pep in the step of Nakavilla as they run in for the war pick. Shannon Rovers looking a bit dejected. They trail by two goals and six points with only one quarter left to play. They're battling hard on. They, they have a lot of possession, but Nakavilla are defending there in numbers and just Rovers find it very difficult to get any scores. Most of the scores really coming from freeze. They got a crucial goal there in the second half, but there's still a lot to do. Nakafila should be able to see this out. Let 
be the first time in the history of the club to win an intermediate county final if they can do it, not Villa. They have one quarter left to do it. Shannon Rovers, a huge quarter needed. Pat Mlockney and Paul Darcy trying to motivate the group again. Words of encouragement to the players to keep it going, to give it a huge final quarter. They know they can get goals, they've got two already. Teams coming back out again for the final quarter. Eve Malachny roaring on her players, trying to throw everything at it. Give it everything for the last quarter. Go down fighting if they're to be the best. Marina Friday getting ready to take the line ball. I see a red jersey in front of Marina. Nakavilla. Ready to go here again. Marina strikes it well, down into the corner. Ema Heffernan is there. Still in possession there, turns left and right, gets the strike. Didn't get a good clear strike on it, but it's still there. Ellen Brown tries to get it up. No, it's it's the Shannon Rovers player that has it. She clears it, but it's still there. Ema Heffernan has it now again. Nakavilla building another attack, strikes it in. Here's a chance for Ellen Brown, and she makes no mistake. Over the bar for Ellen Brown. Good score for Ellen. And the ref has to whistle blow, but this team are still playing here. The whistle is gone, the ref needs to blow it again as the players in here, they're playing on here. But he's bringing it back, I think, for all the Saturday. I'm not sure there, I was watching the flight of the ball, but I think she must have come out over her line for the puck out. And he's calling it back for a throw ball. Much to the dismay of the Shannon Rovers players. Throwing. Here we go. Fighting for the ball there is Ellen Brown. And Eve Franks, out she comes with. She's soloing down the field. She gets her clearance. Here comes Kira Cleary. Finds Sabrina Larkin. Sabrina turns, strikes it down. Who's there? Shannon Rovers trying to get, get her possession. Is Emma Darcy. Off for the solo on Emma. She needs to find someone inside. She gets the strike off, but it's a weak shot. And it's cut out wide. There was a goal chance there. Didn't quite get her shot off. Maybe should have done one more pass. Ginny McKenna, who came off injured in the first half, is coming back on here now as a substitution. As is Anna Harding. Gillian looks to be going to go in to the edge of the square. Rachel Hannigan is coming out. As is uh, Kira Cleary. Two substitutions for Shannon Rovers. Sheena Ryan is there. Or it's puck out, it's found. Quiva McCarthy, but it's a line ball again. Bet Ryan coming over to take the line ball. Ryan getting ready to take this line ball for Nakavilla. They still hold a big lead. Four goals, 11 points, two goals and four. 
Spring Lark coming across, can't get it. And it's Emer Heffernan tries to pick it, but she can't get it either. She has it now in the second attempt, strikes it in. Who's inside? Anya Slattery's there, Stephanie Sullivan's there, Anya comes out, gets past Emer Gleason. She needs to get rid of it now before she gets in trouble. Arena Friday is here. She lovely flicks it out to Emer Folk. Emer's there now, strikes it down. One by Emma Darcy, but it's Bet Ryan who's there again. Bet Ryan. Now it's Sinead Furlong. Rena Friday is there with Emer Forty. They've had a great battle all day. Rena Friday has it now again. Blocked down brilliantly there by Shannon Owens 15, Paula Hannigan. Hand passed by, pass by Emer Forty. Cleared again by Emma Darcy. Great determination there by Emma. Here comes Shannon Overs on the attack. Gilly McKenna. Nice flick up, strikes it in. Finds Eve Malachny. She can't control it though. And it's Queen McCarthy who clears it. Back down, Sling Dynan. Bounces off her hand as far as Emer Fogarty. Well played by Emer. Clears it, only finds Arena Friday. She strikes it in. It's there again. Who's there? Emer Heffern has it. She's come out deep. She's strolling her on in. She has space in front of her. She has players. Shan Rover's outnumbered here. 3 to 1. Here's the chance for Emer. She's giving surely a penalty. And the ref is calling it back. I'd imagine. No, he's given the point. She just cut her shot off. He was playing advantage. I thought he was going to call it back, but he, the score stands. Another point for Emer Heffernan. She had a very good second half. And Kickham Fleet now. Four goals and 12 points to 2 4. An unbelievable achievement by Kickham. was only up from Junior A last year. And looks to be heading to be crowned Intermediate County Champions. Still both sides battling ferociously here in the middle of the field. Bodies everywhere. Who's going to pick it up? Trying to win it there is Quiva McCarthy. Emma O'Mara wins a hand pass it out to Quiva. Quiva tries to get past Emma Fogarty. She manages to do that. Out comes Shen Rovers wing back though. She flicks it on. Ellen Brown is there. The free has been called back though. Shannon Rovers aren't happy. Free. Free has been called back. And Nakavilla bring on another player, number 22. Emma Ryan comes into the game. And Shannon Rovers, number 21. Michelle Carr also enters the fray. For the closing minutes. Emer Gleeson getting a great round of applause from the kicking supporters here in front of the stand. As Emer Heffern gets ready to take this free. Has the height, has the distance, has the target, well done. A great another score from Emer Heffern. Done very well from play and freeze today. Laurel and Anne coming out there for Shannon Rovers. Looking dejected. She knows this game has gone beyond them. There's M. O'Mara for Kickhams. Locks it down. Wins a free. Emer Heffernan getting ready to take this. Fifty-seven minutes on the clock. There'll be injury time though for injuries and the water break stoppages. Ema Heffernan, good strike again. Looks to be still no. It's wide. Umpire here says wide. Went out to the left. Should be disappointed with that. Hook out now again from Anya Slarry, trying to get her players going again. Emma Darcy has been good for, throughout the hour. She's so the one true. She's getting past three or four Knockville players. Nice strike in. Bet Ryan is free there. No, she doesn't have it. Sheena Ryan comes out. Still there for Knockville. Or for Shannon Rovers. Chance there of a goal. There's a bit of a melee gathering here now. Shannon Rovers have it though. Have it in their position. If they can get it out. And the strike is off. But no. Locked down again. Still there. Knockville look to have it now. Coming out with again. Good clearance down the centre. Emer Fogarty is there. She comes to meet it. Pulls on the ball. 
it gets as far as Aoife Malachny. Aoife trying to get free. Lose the possession. And it's kicking to heaven. Big clear is now. Loads of space up here at the other end of the field. Kickens have numbers too. Emma Mar is ghosting inside on Rowan. Here comes Nakaville on the attack. It's the substitution. Go look at her name on the scoreboard. Strikes it. Boy, Slarry is able to deal with it. Drops short. Strikes the money as far as Neve Slattery. Neve, head down, solo and true again. Caesarina Friday on the wing. Emer Who's that for Shen Rovers? Neve Franks, the Tinker fans, Budger. Here comes Irina Friday. She picks it up though. And a lovely strike by Irina to end that passage of play. Another score for Knockville at Kickhams as they use the opportunity to bring on another substitution. Number 24. I think it's Grania Dwyer coming in. Ellen Brown makes way. And the game is a, 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 still on the way here. Queen McCarthy solo and true. Here's a goal chance for Anaka Villa. Substitution number 22. And she buries it to the back of the net. Emma Ryan, I think. Number 22 for Nakavilla Kickums gets their under the play. Kickums were making a substitution. Shannon Over seemed to have just lost concentration for a minute. And Queen McCarthy sold her on straight through, cut the pass off, and, and that's a fifth goal pass on you, Slarry. Really had very little chance on any of them, though. Free here now. Emma Darcy winning the free. If Malachny coming out to take it, strikes it. Good strike. Drops short there. Kickers players are there. Gillian McKenna is in there. Celine Guyton is in there. Here's Gillian. And that's gone out for a 45. Forty-five here. If Malachny coming out to take this. Another substitution for Kickums. Emma Mara makes way. Sinead Hayes comes in. And Aoife puts that 45 over the bar to give Shannon Rovers only their fifth point of the game. 5 14 to 2 5. Not the close game that many people had anticipated. One side of the fair, really, in the end. Kickham's really improved and improved as the game went on, and just much more dangerous in the attack while their backs are also outstanding here today. And they look to be heading to, to be crowned county champions in the next few minutes. Shannon Rovers not giving up the fight. Ethan Lachney going for the ball there. Paula Hannigan in there as well. Gillian McKenna with, a, with a, a late chance here now for Shannon Rovers. Can they get a score? Another substitution here now for Kickens. Leif Slattery, who had a fantastic game, making way here now. Safe in the knowledge that this game is won. Still, Ethan Lockley will chance a goal here. Ethan Lockley with the free. She'll go low and hard. She does. Blocked. Yeah. Ellis finishes to the back of the net. A third goal for Shannon Rovers. Plenty of goals here today. That's the eighth goal of the day. Kickham's leading 5-14 now to three goals and five fights for Rovers. Rovers never given up the fight. But it looks it's going to be too little too late here. With 62 minutes on the clock. Another puck out for Sheena Ryan. Here comes Emer Heffernan again. One of the many stars on this Nakavilla team. All their years of fantastic success and underage coming through fruition here. Their second adult county title in two years. Here's Cueva McCarthy. 
Intercepted by Stephen Guyton, another very good player for Shannon Rovers. Found Emma Darcy. She goes off, tries to flick it over the head of Bet Ryan to, to find Aoife Malachny. Here comes Aoife. Aoife, still with lots of running in her. Gets a strike. That's going to drop short. Sheena Ryan blocks it out. Here comes Selene Guyton with the strike. Oh! Did I hit the post? I think. Oh, it comes again to Nakavilla. Very close there by Sling Guyton. A great shot. Here comes Nakavilla now with the strike. Here, Fogley gets across here. Strike there by Shannon Rovers. Another chance. Seeing Gillian McKenna showing her danger since she's come back into the field. It's such a pity she had to go off injured. But it's Shannon Rovers, or Nakavilla have it again. Clearing the ball. Number 18 for a kick comes out. He's under pressure here with two Shannon Rovers defenders. Rovers have it again. Hit the ball in. It's shouting from the line, and it goes. Great catch by Beanie. Strike to Aoife, who strikes. And that's a point for Shannon Rovers. It's their six point today, three goals and six points. That's nine and six, 15. To Kickham's five goals and 14 points. 29 points for Kickham's. And there's the final whistle. It all ends here in the County Camogie Grounds in the rag. Nocca Villa Dunsky Kickhams are county champions. FPD Insurance Intermediate Club county champions for 2021. And a final score line of five goals and 14 points to Shannon Rovers, three goals and six. Um, thanks very much to FVD and I'd like to thank the County Board for I think all the work they've both done throughout the years and their promotion of Camogie has been absolutely unbelievable. Um, I'd like to thank the, the ref and his officials for today, I think you've done a great job, um, thanks very much. Um, I'd like to thank Shannon Rovers, girls, uh, we know what it's like up against you and to be over on that side of the field looking on. You're absolutely fantastic opponents every time we've met you. You're a lovely group of girls and there's nothing but respect for you out in the pitch. So well done and three cheers for Shannon Rovers. Hip hip. Hip hip. Hip hip. Hip hip. Hip hip. Hip hip. Next off, I'd like to thank everyone that has sponsored our team, Niall Horgan, Seamus Cork. Um, anyone that's looked after us over the last few years, just thanks very much. Um, I <laughs> I'd like to thank all the supporters that came out today, our families. Um, there's, there's a special woman looking down on us today as well, and um, we really appreciate you coming out to look at, to support us and cheer us on. And you're there in the good days as well as the bad days. So thanks very much to everyone up there. Uh, next off, I'd like to thank our management, Kayla, Joanne, Breed, Paddy, Alan. Um, your pace, patience is outstanding. <laughs> and the work you've done with us over the last few years, like there's some, been some really tough days there, and you stuck with us and drived us on. So just thanks very much. Um, Last but not least, the girls that are standing in front of me, you should be so, so proud of yourselves, girls. Um, as proud as I am of you, as you're absolutely brilliant. And uh, bring on tonight. <laughs> um.